Double team offense of both ball, uh, defense of both ball clubs going to be very evident here in the first quarter. Bird's on all the way to the hoop and gets the foul. Larry Bird, not to be denied. And the foul is on Kareem Abdul Jabbar, his first personal foul. The Celtics trying to get Larry Bird more involved, I think, in outside activity. He's been posting up most of the time to take advantage of the smaller Michael Cooper. There may be a strategy change developing for the Celtics in this first quarter. Larry Bird was the leading free throw shooter in the NBA. He's been a first team all-star in the league each of his five years. Pressure by Boston. And here's Magic Johnson with Henderson chasing him. And the Magic Man is two for two from outside. It's six to three Los Angeles. And that's a big two up from outside. Oh, get the Celts thinking twice about the double team. Harris gets his own rebound and puts it in. Now the important game, the early part of this game is a very important barometer because the team that has taken the impetus early on has been the big victor. The Lakers lead by eight to five now as Kareem has four points. Here's Henderson oh, penetrating God. inside and traveling call. The Lakers are really great. If they don't have that true fast break, they get quick hitters. Get it into Kareem as quickly as possible before the Celtics defense can get set up. Magic misses his first shot from outside and a loose ball foul called against Los Angeles. Kurt Rambis is called for his second personal foul. So Kurt Rambis has two fouls. And now the Boston Celtics will set it up. Robert Parrish has been outplayed, but he has been double teamed hard in the middle and hasn't gotten the ball near the hoop. Dennis Johnson, a very important shot. Johnson's been behind the eight ball, really, in the series so far. Celtics need to hit the outside shot. Johnson hit his first. Maxwell on a steal. It's a four on three break for Boston, and Parrish comes in. And that's the first time we've seen that kind of aggressiveness from Robert Parrish in the series. Kareem. Hooks it in, and the Celtics thought he palmed the ball, and I think the crowd did too. I sure think so also, Dick. That should have been called. But the Celtics are getting off to a much quicker start than the Lakers had hoped. Dennis Johnson is two for two from outside. So Casey Jones obviously sat Dennis down and said, look, we've got to have outside shooting, which is not normally Dennis's game. He doesn't like to take that shot, but he's going to have to, and he's showing me that he's willing to do it. Worthy baseline shot, his first points. The second year forward from North Carolina, who's been in the starting lineup since the final game of the Phoenix series. Henderson is short with it. Cooper getting the break to Johnson. To Rambis. If you missed that outside shot against L.A., they turn it into the quickest of fast breaks. Both teams are shooting well in the early going. Kareem knocks the ball away and will have an L.A. foul as Scott Wedman comes into the ball game for the Boston Celtics. Wedman is one of the very few bright spots in Sunday's game three with a playoff high 16 points and 10 rebounds for him. Kareem has picked up his second personal foul. So you heard Cedric Maxwell tell Kevin Lockery the Celtics would like nothing better than to get Kareem in foul trouble. He's got two. Redman fights for the offensive board. And here's Larry Bird, baseline, fighting his way in. Wedman. And the Celtics have a new clock. 14 to 11, the Lakers lead with 8.14 to go in the first period. Dick Stockton and Tom Heinsohn here in L.A. Parrish gets another. And Robert Parrish has six points all inside. I think the Celtics have found a way to uncover their big people underneath, Dick. All right. When the Celtics come down, I want to find out what it is if it isn't on the break. Here is Maxwell running rampant. What are they doing? They're pushing it up real fast now. But they've got to be careful. Turnover. Here's Magic. What the Celtics are doing, Dick, to help get that inside game on track is a sheer alignment of players, a different formation they're showing the Lakers. They're bringing Bird outside a little bit more, and it's making some of that packed-in defense move outside with them.
Here's Magic coming up quick on a fast break. Boy, does he push it up. He makes you pay the price if you don't hustle back. And Bird creates the foul. Bird said that the only way to stop the Lakers is number one, get back fast. Number two, get fat back fast. And three, get back fast. So what do you think the idea is? Get back very fast. <laughs> Dennis Johnson committed the foul, not Larry Bird. That's his first. And the Lakers lead is 15 to 13. This is the closest of the four games so far at this juncture. Here's Maxwell. And Cedric Maxwell gets the roll. And now we have a tie at 15 all, the first tie of the ball game. Johnson calling the play, guarded by Larry Bird. Double team on Kareem, triple team. Cross court to Worthy. Worthy can shoot, he can jump, he can run. You name it, he can do it. Well, that double in uh, Kareem, but he's, he's so effective at finding that open man. It is still Celtics ball, but you can see that extra ounce of hustle on both sides in the early part here. This is a meaningful game for the Celtics. Dennis Johnson outside hits again, so Dennis Johnson is three for three from the field. He has been shooting a horrendous 34% so far, but Michael Cooper, who also has been struggling from the field, comes right back to give the Lakers the lead again. 6.45 remaining first period. Robert Parrish, who has gone inside, misses outside. But there's Larry Bird with the offensive rebound. So Larry Bird has four. And we have our another tie. Kareem over Parrish. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the leading scorer at over 25 points a game in this series. Johnson is hot. His first miss in four tries. So the Celtics got back very nicely on defense, but Magic Johnson hits from outside, and there's nothing you can do about that. Well, they got three guys back. It was a three-on-three, -three, and Magic just pulled up and went right over the top. Nearly halfway through this opening period, and Larry Bird inside, and I think the Celtics are doing more damage inside than they have in the previous three games. Well, I think what this new formation has done is make the Lakers think a little bit about where Larry Bird is. And the Lakers call a timeout with 5.53 remaining in the first period. It's a tight game. The Lakers 23, the Celtics 21. And we'll back to the forum in just a moment. It's been a tended to spurt for the Lakers, and they've done it by virtue of their familiar fast break, Tom. Boy, when they score, they score in clusters. And when you miss that shot, you're so vulnerable unless you get back quick. But Magic advances it so quickly, they end up with a four-on-two situation and he slithers right by. You can't concentrate on him because he's such a good passer. You worry about him hitting the open man. Eight to nothing in fast break points as Casey Jones, who's quiet, doesn't say much in the NBA this year. He has not been as an offensive force on the road as he has been at home. He's shooting only 38% in the road in the playoffs. And a turnover, Dennis Johnson has it for Boston with 340 remaining in the first period. So McHale and Wetman off the bench first. Bird with a fake pass to McHale, and he's tied up by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Well, they came out of that timeout, put McHale in the game, hoping that he will be able to uh, do some damage on the boards against Bob McAdoo. That'll help against that uh, take away the L.A. fast break. Magic. 29-21. Celtics led 11 to 10, their only lead in this first period. McAdoo puts a fake on McHale and tries to get it inside to Kareem, who loses it out of bounds. 